Oh hey there lads, my name is Brian and welcome to a brand new video from me. Today we're going to be taking a look at some cool things that were in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 that we would like to see back in the next Battlefield game. On the other hand, we will also be looking at some not so cool things that we won't like to see return in our next game. The first thing on the list for me is definitely engine upgrades. We saw the introduction of Frostbite 3 with Battlefield 4 and it blew our minds. The graphics are unbelievable. I have to say it is probably one of the best looking games I've ever seen ever. It is a phenomenal looking game and I will not criticize it on its looks. The devs have done a brilliant job in comparison to Battlefield 3. But looks aren't everything, it's how the game runs and how smooth you play it. Now that is where the big problem with Battlefield 4 actually comes in. When I went back to play Battlefield 3 the other night it just felt so much snappier, the game was so much smoother, faster. When I did get shot every single hit marker registered on my screen and I, when, I, when I lost a match I was pretty impressed that the other team beat me because I knew that they were the better player not just some laggy shooting around corners and it just didn't get me angry. I never raged once at Battlefield 3 and I just miss it. So that is pretty much what I want for the next game. I really want to upgrade to the Frostbite 3 engine. I'm sure the devs will be ha working on it very hard, they're working on it very hard right now, but for the next game I just hope it doesn't have a launch like Battlefield 4. The next thing on my list is maps. When I did go back to Battlefield 3 I noticed that I was getting so many kills from the small intro you saw there at the start of the video. I went on a tear and that was a casual th thing throughout this game. It was crazy. I was just I think at the end of this game I had 70 plus kills and it was only a short TDM. I was very impressed with the maps. I think I was playing on Tehran Highway and not only on this map but on all the TDM maps I forgot how close quarters it was which brings me on to my actual sub point to this maps point is actually the introduction of close quarters. Now when close quarters did come out for Battlefield 3 it did get mixed reviews. So many people were like this isn't Battlefield this is Call of Duty with the Frostbite 2 engine sticker on it which I have to agree it pretty much was. The whole point of the close quarters map pack was to get all the Call of Duty fans over to Battlefield because it's close quarters and it plays very like a COD game. And I'm pretty sure it worked because so many people are still playing that map pack right now. Back to the main point of maps though, we know in Battlefield 4 most of the maps don't cater very well to close quarters. We can see that the Battlefield 4 maps are very vehicle orientated and it, there's very little close quarter combat, there's a lot of open spaces. If you want really close quarters combat you should probably just go back to second assault which is ironically Battlefield 3. Overall, I don't think the maps are too bad in Battlefield 4. I really enjoy Flood Zone and Operation Locker. They're just really, really, really good maps. Great level design. It's just that the game modes don't really cater to all the maps. If we head back to Battlefield 3 once again, if we remember Damavand Peak, that was a crazy rush map. I love that map to bits for rush. But only rush. I didn't really play any other game modes on it. But that map was brilliant for rush. Whereas the Battlefield 4 maps tried to cater to all the game modes and just didn't do it very well. Take Siege of Shanghai for an example. I really enjoy playing that map with friends on Conquest, but jumping into a TDM and Domination, it's just a small part of it. They didn't change the map, they didn't make anything special for those different game modes, they just took a corner out of the Conquest map and threw some small flags on it. They didn't really put in much effort into changing the game modes. But enough talk about maps, more onto my next point, which is party options. Now what I want to see return is the different ways you could set up a squad before joining a game. Meaning you can join a party with a lot of friends and you will stay with those friends throughout the game. Too many times have I been auto-balanced to another team and I have to play against my friends. It's just not fun. If I want to play Battlefield with a friend, I don't want to play against them too many times. Here are some things that I don't really want to see return, but I wouldn't be too... I wouldn't be too upset if they did return, it's just I think the game would benefit a lot more if they didn't. The first two being Levolution and Commander Mode. Personally I didn't think Battlefield 4 needed Commander Mode. Levolution was pretty amazing and it still is and it always shall be. It's just I don't think the next Battlefield game actually needs anything like this. Though I can see what the devs were trying to do with Battlefield 4 and I give credit to them and they did a brilliant job it's just I don't think the next Battlefield game really needs those two features. Another thing I want to see the back of are really really annoying gadgets. Now not all gadgets, most gadgets are pretty pretty helpful but some gadgets like the SUAVs and the anti-air mines they're just there for being there. They don't really help anyone, they're kind of useless, uh, they're just kind of there for DLC so I don't really want to see 
DLC wasted on small little gadgets like these. That kind of brings me on to the final point, which is DLC. Now don't get me wrong, I really want to see DLC in the next Battlefield game, but just not recycled DLC. Now I hope you don't take this the wrong way, I really really like playing Gulf of Oman and Op Operation Metro again on the Frostbite 3 engine, I just wouldn't like to play the Battlefield 4 maps in the next Battlefield game. It was a great idea and I really enjoyed the map pack, I just don't want to see this as a regular occurrence. When you think about it, that map pack could have been replaced with the anniversary Vietnamese map pack from Battlefield Vietnam. Anyway lads, there are all my views for the next Battlefield game, things I would like to see return and things I would like to see gone. I hope you enjoyed lads, please let me know what you'd like to see return in the next Battlefield game. Thank you for over 110 subscribers and I will see you in the next video.